East Lake has won the toss and elected to defer. Mount Sai will receive and attack that goal.
All right. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jason Renfro. Next to me is Jim Thatcher. We're the hardest working men in show business. And tonight we've got a delayed homecoming game for Monday Night Football. We've got our East Lake Wolves taking on the Mount Si Wildcats. Mount Si coming in 3-1 and one in the division. We're at 2-1, and one, so this is a big game. Jim, I think it's going to turn out to be quite the slobber knocker. I'm looking forward to this one. Been looking forward to it since Friday night. I'm glad we were able to put this game together. The weather's cleared up. We've got clear skies. We're ready to play some football. Fantastic. So Dreyer's going to tee it up at the 40. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Daniel Ferreira. Teeing it up at the 40. And let's see what we can do. Oh, pitching wedge. Oh, fumbles. Ball's on the ground. They're fighting for it. I think Mount Si recovered. That's what he does. Clock operator, please set the clock to 11.56. All right, so Mount Si will take possession at the 35, first and 10. I see our defense out there, hard-hitting Harry Reid, number four at linebacker. He's back his second game back. Got a little action last game against Lake Stevens. They line up trips right, soon receiver left. Calls for the ball, gets a snap, looks to his left, throws it high, looks it deep, and it's picked. But there's a, looks like there might be a pass interference. Well, let's see which team that one's on. Well, they threw it in the direction of one of our players. I'm hoping they don't take that away. That was a gutsy call to go that deep, and we pick it off. So the Dazzle of Zebra are discussing. And I have a feeling this is going to be... Pass interference on the defense. 15-yard yeah. penalty will result in a first down. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we'll get it at the 50. Or, sorry, they'll get it at the 50. It'll be first and 10. Still off to a good start, though. Yeah, nice to get a pick on the first play, even if it has to be given away. Back for the Wildcats, number 15 at quarterback, Cyrus Turley. Cyrus is a uh, rather short quarterback at six foot eight. Gets a snap, hands off up the middle. Bo Phillips gets twisted and wrapped up. Oh, way to go. Way to go, Jack Edmonds. Came in there like a missile. And he's fired up. Uh, they gave him, wow, they gave him progress. Okay. Very generous progress. So here we go. I see Balaj, Cole at safety, Kai and Colby are corners. Ben Carollo with Edmonds and Reed at linebacker. Gets a snap, looks to his right, throws it high. Just outside the reach, Cole was right there with great defense. Good job. So it'll be third and ten. Got a great student body here tonight, given that it's Monday night. And they're dressed in black for our blackout night. Welcome, Wildcats. All right, here we go. Trips right, gets a snap. Bo goes out to the left-hand side, comes across the middle. Number six. Looks like there's a first down. Thought there was a penalty in the play. I thought I saw a hold coming around the edge there, but. Definitely saw the hold, didn't see the flag come out with it. So that was Ryder Weiss for the Wildcats. All right, so they've moved the ball here. Twins both sides. Gets a snap. Quick screen. Comes up the left-hand side and tripped up and brought down by, looks like Ben Carollo got him. Sniped him from behind, but not until he got a first down. Another first down for 
So Mount Si rolls in three and one in our division, and uh, they're four and two overall. They they beat uh, North Creek. Oh, I'm sorry. They beat Woodenville last week. Rolls out to the left and stopped after about a four-yard gain. Colby Marsh helped assist him out of bounds. So this is a big, big game for us. This is for number two in our division behind Skyline. All right. Mount Side looking to get the call. Trips right, single receiver left. Bo Phillips slides up to the right-hand side. Gets a snap, handoff up the middle. Dodges one tackle, but not until Edmonds brings him down. Knife in and takes him down right away. Edmonds is fired up. Fired up. Great play there. Looks like a loss of a yard or so on that one. Yep, he read that perfectly. Once again, the referees give them a very favorable spot with forward, forward progress to the line of scrimmage. All right, trips right. Looks to his right, standing there statuesque. Throws it way out of bounds. Um, doesn't need to hit the gym with that throw. So it'll be fourth and about seven. Give their ball boy a good workout chasing that one down. Yeah. That was definitive. So let's see if they're going to go for a field goal. Yep. Okay. So let's line up for a 40 yarder. Left hash. Gets a snap. Good hold. Puts it up. And I think he got it through. No good. No good. Missed it. Looked like wide right, I guess. So that's a, that's a good start for us. I mean, we, we got the interception. Unfortunate pass interference. But our defense still remains fired up. Holds them. And now we take over with decent field position. And I'm looking out at the field where we're taking over on downs. And that's right about where that pass was intercepted on that first throw. Maybe 10 yards further back. Yeah, but this is good. We're, um, I think we're ready. All right, let's watch what our offense has put together for us tonight. So, Jim, we got people watching as far as Albuquerque, New Mexico tonight. Holy cow. Yeah. I didn't know the stream could make it that far. Uh, me neither. Trips right, single receiver left. Borup steps up to the right. Cole calls for the ball, gets snapped, fakes the handoff. Quick screen. Grady gets it, turns up the middle, and gains about five yards or four yards. So that was a nice quick screen. Twins both sides. I see near side. I'm trying to see who that is. Colby's in the slot, gets a snap, Borb gets it, runs up the middle, and engulfed. But gains about two, so it'll be third and about four, a long four. All right, so we switch sides. Grady's coming near side, so we got Colby. Eli, I think he, that's Eli DeGuzan way out there. Colby and then Kai Brown in the slot. Four up slides up to the left. Cole gets the snap. Two looks to his right. Quick curl to Colby Marsh. Comes up the middle and gets walloped. But holds on to the ball. But gains about 11 yards. Good job, Colby. Way nice. to put that ball away. Nice delivery on that ball as well. That was a quick snap, quick pass out there, right on target. Absolutely. Okay, twins both sides. Great first down pickup. Gets a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls out to his right, overthrows Kai just a bit. Probably a little excited at his homecoming. Homecoming version two. That's right. All the uh, young men and women of East Lake have been seeing pictures left and right of all of them dressed up. All the girls looking pretty, and all the guys 
looking studly. I think they had a great time, all things considered. Okay, twins both sides. Gets a snap, fakes the pitch, goes up the middle, puts his head down, and then gets basically beaten to the ground. Gain of about two and a half yards on that. So it'll be third down and about seven. Okay. Third and seven. Twins both sides. Three-man rush. Borb goes out. Hits Colby right across the middle. Great catch, Colves. Gains about 18, 20 yards. Good throw, good catch. All right. Gets a snap, hands off the board, board up the middle, keeps grinding, brought down after a gain of about two. So I think they've been watching film and they've prepared for Blake Borup and a heavy dose of. But he still turns out a couple of yards there, hard fought. Absolutely. So right now, Mount Size number two and we're number three, a game behind them, we're sitting at four and two as well. We had a rough outing last time against a good Lake Stevens team. Trips left, calls for the ball. Option left, pitches to Borup. Borup gets it, stiff arms. Goes up the left-hand side. Hits, punches, stiff arms. Gains on a great run, about 15 yards. And another first down. I love what I'm seeing. Okay, same formation, trips left. Single receiver right. I think that's the Guzman out there. Gets a snap. Hands off the Blake. Blake up the right hand side. Gets tripped up, but gains about two yards. Let's take a quick look while they're resetting at that uh, last run that Blake had. Gets a quick pitch out to him. Watch the stiff arm. Good night. Pushes around him. Dodges one guy and then finally gets pushed out of bounds. He's a load. Okay. Twins both sides. Gets a snap, looks to his left. Throws it deep in the corner to Grady. And no luck, good defense. Kept a, a blocking body on him. Covered by number six, Ryder Weiss for the Wildcats. Yeah, Grady's got about a foot difference in height. So that's a matchup I'd go to a lot. Just got to get around him. Or throw a back shoulder. Third and about eight. All right, here we go. Trips right, single receiver left. Borb comes up to the left-hand side. Oh, looks like there may be a timeout. Good call. Timeout. Big He's important there. down here. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's 619 left, first quarter. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll be right back after this brief timeout. And while we take this break, we'd like to thank our sportsers for Wolf's Football Association, Pro Ortho uh, Orthopedic, Kinson and Kinson Homes. And we'll sneak one more in here as they take the field. We really appreciate the support of Evergreen Ford. All right, and we're back. 
So we've got trips right. We've got Colby over here by himself. Looks like Grady's slot. Kai's inside. De Guzman outside. Bore up in. Slides up to the left-hand side. Cole gets a snap. Blitz up the middle. Gets picked up. Dodges it. Dodges out to the right. Shaking and bacon. Looking up. Keeps his eyes open. And just overthrows. Fortunately, it wasn't picked. He did everything he could to stay alive back there and unfortunately got rushed into a throw and no connection. So it's fourth down out there and about eight. It looks like we're putting on our uh, kicking team. Yeah, so Dreyer will come in. He'll attempt a 36-yarder. Number 62, Alex Dreyer, into a field goal for the 36-yarder. Yes. Out of the hole is All right, Dreyer's been rock solid for us this year. Oh, timeout. Rather trying to eat. Ah, okay. uh, no, there's a flag on the play. Delay of game. Delay of game on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Okay, that's fine. He can make it for 41. A little more challenging kick coming up here. Okay, official chops it in. Alex is lined up, gives Steven the nod. Good snap, good hold. And boom, right through. Great job, Alex. Way to go. 41 yard field goal, we're up three nothing. 6-10 left in the first quarter. Fantastic, people are fired up. It's not very often you get to see long field goals, so. Love it. And while we wait to set back up, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Principal Todd Apple. I believe it's his 27th birthday today. Yes, happy birthday. I might be wrong on the years by a little bit, but happy birthday. Okay, so Ferreira is coming back up. They're not going to probably kick it deep. They, um, one of their studs is Bo Phillips, number 22, and he is flat out a dude that likes to run. So my guess is there's going to be a little, a little bit of the same, same old, same old here. Kicks it high, spinning, caught at the 13. Comes to his left, tries to come up the middle, and brought down. Great tackle. Fantastic. Number 38, Cade Harrelson on the tackle. Good job, Cato. All right, so we're putting our defense back there. I see De Guzman coming in, Balaj at safety. We've got Kai, far side, Colby near side, Carollo, Edmonds, Reed. I see Painter, Coombs, Lane, and Carter Thompson. Here we go. Gets a snap, looks to his left, throws it out there, quick screen, encapsulated by three Wolves. Um, De Guzman, Reed, trying to see, oh, and Kai Brown. Good job, boys. Gain of about close to five. All right, so twins left, twins right. Bo's coming out into the, oh, this is interesting. He's coming out as a wide receiver, so let's see what happens. Gets a snap, looks to his left, throws a quick screen. We wrap him up right there. Colby's on it. Good job. Not going anywhere. So it looks like a... Loss of maybe a one-yard loss. Excellent. 
And once again, they get very favorable forward progress. So the ball stays about where it was. Okay, here we go. Single receiver left, trips right. Phillips in the backfield. Gets a snap, low snap. Looks to his left, pushed out of the pocket. Throws it deep downfield and unable to bring it in. No flag on the play. Colby Marsh with good coverage. So it'll be fourth and about six. Looks like they're going to punt. And the pass was intended for number 11, Liam Christensen there. Just a little bit out of his reach. I, I saw Liam before the game. Liam, I don't know if your parents are listening, but I did not recognize you because it's been so long since I've seen you. You're a little bit bigger than the last time I saw you. All right. Oh. Looks like a delay of game. One signals delay of game. One talking to the other. We'll see what they come up with. There's no foul on the play. The play clock was not reset after the official's timeout. Okay. Fourth down. So near side blocking the gunner, we got Caleb Grant. He's going to try to free up Grady for a good return. The boys look like we're ready to get in there and block one. They've got heavy front protection on, so let's see what we can come up with for a return. Gets the snap, kicks it off. Line drive punt, drives Grady back. Grady gets it on the bounce, stabs, tries to get outside, misses one guy, but then they grab him. It'll be first and 10 Wolves at about the 27-yard line. Okay, we're off to a good start. Got the ball back. Let's see if we can't make some more magic here in the Wolf Den. Let's see if we can't put it in the end zone this time. We've got our little ball boys out there doing their, uh, their work. Well, if you remember the game last year against Mount Si, we started off and we had a good drive going and we threw an interception. And then they scored and we had to play catch up and we ended up winning a very tough game. I believe it was something like 14 to seven or 17 to seven, something like that. But it was a very good game. Mount Si always plays us tough. Yeah, I expect tonight will be no exception. Okay, twins both sides. Gets a snap, hands off the bore up, bore up up the right hand side, cuts back in the middle, keeps those legs churning and burning, and a gain of about six. Good gain on first down. We like to see that. Anything over three yards is a great gain for us. So six is more than three, right? Absolutely. All right. So we so, like that one. So trips left, single receiver right, great over there by himself. You know, Blake's been our workhorse all year, and. Love to see him out there working hard. Gets a snap, hands it off again. Up the left-hand side, puts his head down. Bowls forward, gain of about six or seven, so first down. Way to go, Blake. I'd like to soften up that middle, get those linebackers cheating in to help open up some of those passing lanes for us. All right, we got the... The tight formation, twins both sides. Gets a snap, looks to his right, throws it deep down the right-hand sideline. Uh, there may have been some miscommunication there, but that was, was a pass to number 15. Luke Westmo. 10-yard penalty, but still be first down. So that'll move us back behind the sticks. At least it'll be first down. It'll be first and 20, unfortunately. Oh, it's going to be more than that. Looks like the spot of the foul was about four yards deep. Mm. Well, that's just another challenge. I think we're up for it. I see DeGuzman, uh, Grady, Westwell, Colby out there. 
four up and hunt. I see Coombs. Ryan Ware, who got to run out with the flag tonight. <clears throat> Gets a snap, blitz up the middle. Throws it out, screen to Grady. Wow. Gets it and makes something out of nothing. Wow. I thought they had him wrapped up for like a one-yard game, but he was able to knife through, use that big body of his and his strength and gains about six yards. So good job, Grady. Brings us to a manageable two and 18. All right, single receiver left-hand side. Looks like they're doubling Grady. They're playing three safeties, so cover three looks like. Drops back. Oh. Looked like Grady held up, Cole rifled it in, and that fortunately was not picked. So we got to look into our bag and see what do we call on third and 18. Okay, so we get the snap, we get the signal. Trips right, single receiver left. Cole gets a snap, looking to his right. Throws it to Blake underneath. Lowers his shoulder. Man, he gets popped, but not until he drags a couple guys along the way. Oh! Two flags on the field. Yeah, I wonder if there was a targeting. But Blake, man, wow. He is a load. Let's see, they're talking. I can only imagine it's some sort of targeting play. There was no other action there that I saw. Yeah, so Mount Side's backing up, so it's against them. So it'll be a first down. No one was a first down to begin with. It was a, just a yard and a half shy of that. There are two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Personal foul, helmet, illegal helmet contact, number 37 on the defense. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 37 on the defense. Both of those penalties will be assessed. The result will be a first down. Wow. Enforcing both of the penalties. Yeah, because one is a dead ball after the play. So the first happened during the play, so they get that benefit, and then the second one happened afterwards. So number 37 is being taken off the game, off the field right now and probably calmed down. I don't know what he did or said, but those things happen. I'm sure it was not a big deal, but he got caught. <clears throat> so that's huge. I mean, that moves us all the way down to the 24, 23. Turn, turns what, what, what had been a great game into very good field position. Okay, twins both sides. Gets a snap, blitz up the left-hand side. Cole, Cole hands it off to Blake. Blake turns and spins, and man, that's going to get stopped, but not until he gains about seven yards. So it's interesting. They blitzed up the, our left-hand side. That created a little gap for Blake to slide right through. I'm glad Cole didn't pull that because he had the opening, and Blake was able to get in there, spin, spin, and then put his head down and get eight yards. So fantastic. Good job, Blake. All right, twins both sides. We got Marsh and Woodward near side to Guzman, Westmo far side. Oh, way to go. That'll be a first down. Dead ball. Encroachment on the defense. Five yard penalty. The result will be a first down. And that's another first down for the Wolves. The ball moves up to the 12 yard line. Okay, same formation, same personnel. Cole gets a snap. Hands off, Blake up the left-hand side, twists and turns. Going to pick up about four yards. <clears throat> Man, they're coming after him. They'll spot that at the nine-yard line, gain of about three. I think halftime, we've got to get Blake a new jersey. 
Sometimes he gets up, it looks like he's 38. It looks like he's 54. I can't quite tell the number because his jersey's so twisted up. <clears throat> All right. Twins both sides. Second in about seven. Oh, almost got him again. Gets a snap. Hands off. Blake follows his O-line. Gets another probably three yards. So it'll be third and about four. Move that to the seven-yard line now. I like it. Eating clock, taking her time, and driving the ball right down the field. It's not too bad when they know it's coming to Blake and he still picks up a couple of yards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trips right. Gets a snap. Throws out to Westmo. <coughs> Thought Westmo had his knee down, but they didn't call him down. Okay. That's a first down. So it'll be first and goal at the two. Good job, Westmo. So Lucas had. Um, it's interesting. He's one of our best blocking receivers. I love seeing him work out there and get a good pass reception for a first down. All right, folks. End of one. Wolves three. Wildcats zero. We'll be right back after this quarter change. And as we switch quarters, I appreciate the support of Infinity of Bellevue. Thank you for your support of Wolves football. And also Orthodontics on the Plateau. We do appreciate your support. All right, we got the big boy package in. De Guzman at the right, Grady out to the left. All the beef up front. I see Andy Villegas, I see Jack Porter. Gets a snap, Blake gets it. Oh no, fumble. Oh man, fumble in the exchange. It'll be first down, Wildcats at about the four yard line. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. All right, the pressure will be on the defense to see if they can't push them back a few yards. Okay, so these things happen. It's all right. It's just another challenge that we must face. And uh, like we've done all year, we don't give up. Okay. I see Twins right. Looks like they're going with a two-back set. Single receiver left-hand side. Okay. Rolo Edmonds, Reed at linebacker. Gets a snap, hands off, and just gets folded in half right at the line of scrimmage. Bo Phillips, number 22. Looks like that was Edmonds again. Edmonds, man. I think moving him to middle linebacker was the best thing we did this year. He was in that rover spot for a while, but he's really taken to middle linebacker and loves it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let me switch our defense a little bit. Gets a snap. Bounces outside. And brought down, almost brought down by 
Balaj coming out from the safety spot. Bo is just a fighter. Man, he is a tough runner. Gains a first down. About an 11-yard run. He's tough. You can't take him down with just a, an arm tackle. you got to really have somebody slow him up, call for backup, bring the house. Okay. Trips. Nope. Tight end set, so boys watch the tight end. Gets a snap. Bounces out to the right-hand side. Tries to stiff arm, but not going to happen. Brought down. Gain of about two. So it looks like they're going with their strong package. We're going to get a good dose of both. So single receivers, both sides. We pull up our safeties. Drops back, looks to his right. Or left, rather, and falls. Way to go. Good job. Great pressure. So he dropped back, looked to his left. Great. The, what made that play right there is Kai Brown's coverage. They were looking for Liam Christensen. Kai was right on him, so he looked left, was, had to pause for a second and hold, which gave our defense time to get in there, and then he couldn't get away. That was a loss of about 12 yards on that sack. Okay. Third and long. Twins left. Drops back, looks to his left, comes back over the middle, and knocked down by Jack Edmonds. He is having a game. Two is taking 22 all night long. I love it. He is fired up. And that energy is what we feed off of, and that's what we need. It's difficult to come in for both teams after having supposed to have played on a Friday night, the electricity that was going to happen, the vibe that was going on, it was homecoming, and now we have to postpone to a Monday. Um, and so I just like seeing our guys fired up, ready to go. Mount Sai in full block mode, deep in their own end zone. Good snap. Boots it off to the right-hand side. Grady feels it cleanly. Comes up the left-hand side. Gains about 15 yards before going out of bounds. Great return. And a penalty marker. I don't know what happened. Hoping we didn't do something silly there, but let's see what the call is. Looks like it's against East Lake. My guess would be blocking the back or holding one of the two. Quite a long conference out there. Let's take a moment to thank this team gang. It's the East Lake Science Department, Jody Bawa, Rory Retzla, Connor Korshavin, and David Starkovich. Okay. Still trying to get it sorted out. Getting the yards marked off, but we're not hearing the call yet. So, <clears throat> looks like a 15 yard penalty. I think they got it sorted out now. Let's hear what he has to say. There are two fouls on the play, both by the receiving team. Block in the back, number 50 during the kick. Block in the back, number 50 during the return. The foul will be enforced from the end of the kick. It'll be first down, East Lake. Okay, so I think. He gets first and 10, East Lake. I think they took. I don't know. Not quite sure how those two get added up, but they've done it. Well, so. they, they, I think they only took one, I think. I hope. I don't know. It's 
hard for me to tell because we backed up 25 yards. Okay, twins both sides. Gets a snap, hands off, Blake up the middle, puts his head down, gain of about two, yeah, two and a half. <laughs> Starting to get some tough running for uh, Blake up there in the middle. Oh, yeah, and they're hitting high and low, so they're really coming after him. Twins both sides. Gets a snap. Fakes the pitch, goes up the middle, spins, turns. Brought down after a gain of about five. So it'll be third and about three. Tough run there. I see Westmo in the slot far side with Grady. Near side is Kai and to Guzman. Okay. Cole gets a snap. Hands off to Blake. Blake puts his head down, goes forward, first down. Gain of about five. Good job, Blake. He just took that momentum, ran right smack into that line. Picked up the first down, moved the chains. We got a fresh set. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Twins both sides, same personnel. That offensive line's been doing a tough job tonight. Drops back, looks to the right, comes over the middle, hits Blake. Oh, 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 oh. Could have been a big game there. Okay, trips right, single receiver left. Snap, rolls out to his right-hand side, throws the out pattern. De Guzman gets it, gets walloped, but not until after what appears to be a first down. Great throw, great catch. De Guzman just kind of does a little five-yard, turns around, and able to pick that up and go right down the field. You see, hopefully we can see him. Yeah, he just goes to the sideline and turns and then sits open and goes. All right, trips left, gets it, looks to the left, quick screen to Grady. Grady gets it, tries to split two defenders, and they do a good job. Gains about a yard. And Coral on the tackle. one yard brings up second and nine for Eastlake. Okay. Trips right. Getting signed from the sideline, seven minutes and running, second quarter. Cole calls for the ball, gets a snap, looks to his right, holds it, comes up the middle, puts his head down and gets brought down by the neck. That's going to be a horse collar. Number 37 again with the penalty. Let's take a look at the end of that one there. Yeah, he's just doing his best to try to tackle Cole and twist him down. Let's see what they call it. There's no foul on the play. That's okay. I was wondering, because when you down. look at the replay, you see he kind of grabs him by the shoulders. He doesn't grab him by the jersey collar on the back and brings him down, so it's not a horse collar. It just looked a little violent. It certainly looked that way in full speed, but slowing it down a bit had a different perspective. Well, he was going fast, Cole's going fast, so something's bound to happen there. Okay, trips left, gets a snap, hands off, Borup up the right-hand side, gets stuffed. Looks like they'll give him a couple of yards, forward progress there. Glad to see that swinging both ways. So it'll be second and goal from the six. Three yard gain. 
second and goal at the six. Okay, near side we got Westmo, Woodward, far side to Guzman, Kai Brown. Cole steps up, checks again, calls the signal. Blake slides to the left, gets a snap, fakes the pitch, and runs right smack in, comes outside. Oh, gets taken down rather hard. I hope he's okay. And it looks like there's a flag on the field there. Yeah, it kind of came down on his leg pretty bad. I hope he's all right. Kind of got twisted there. There's a possibility that flag may have been for delay of game. The clock was right at zero when that snap went off. Illegal shift um. on the offense. Five-yard penalty will still be second down. I didn't see the shift. Somebody may have moved, or I didn't think there was motion yet, but who knows. All right, so that doesn't really hurt us that bad. It's still second down and goal from the 11. Spot the ball to 11. Second and goal. Twins both sides. Blake sets up to the right-hand side. Gets a snap. Blake goes out to the right. Cole gets flushed out and then gets tripped up and then oh, ouch. engulfed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Kind of got bent, came down on his head. Hope he's all right. Followed by... Okay, so we reset. Loss is back to the 25 yard line. It's third and goal. Get the snap. Throws it deep down the right-hand sideline to Blake. Blake gets it. Touchdown! Way to go. Blake comes out of the backfield, able to hold on. Good job, Cole. Good job, Blake. That's what you do with a third and 25. Third and goal from the 25. Well, they use, they send Grady deep. He's the decoy. They all back up thinking we're going to go to Grady, and then Blake comes out of the, the backfield. It's hard for a linebacker to stay with him and touchdown. All right, so Dreyer going to attempt the extra point. Good snap, good hold, good boot. Right through, 10 nothing. second quarter, 4.29 remaining. Wolves are fired up. Thanks for joining us tonight. And let's take a look at that touchdown run or pass. So you see him. You see the linebacker picks him up there, right there. He goes out of frame. And just no real hard to, to hold. Blake's, Blake's quicker than he looks, that's for sure. He is a big boy, so you think he doesn't have that speed. He gets out in the open field, and he can run. He can run. So we have tonight, obviously, we got the Wildcats. This Friday, we play Bothell at Pop Keeney. Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday. Saturday, we play at Pop Keeney. That's good. It gives us an extra day. And then we follow it up home our last game against North Creek so we have Wildcats Cougars and Jaguars and I have yet to see a Jaguar here in the Pacific Northwest if you have seen one please put it in the comments other than at the zoo that doesn't count that's true
All right. Farrah gives it a boot. High end over end kick. Fielded at the 11. Comes up the right hand side and spins, turns out of a tackle, and then gets, wow, gets his feet moving and twists and turns and able to get up to about the 31 yard line. There's a mass of humanity there, hard to tell. Finally down at about the 31. <clears throat> okay. Twins left, single receiver right. Gets a snap, hands off up the left hand side, right into a wall of wolves. And that was carried by Bo Phillips again. <laughs> Edmonds broke through and just got pancaked. <laughs> I think they were prepared for him that time. But a gain of only one. <laughs> well, they went after him and they forgot about the rest of the D linemen. Okay, twins left, single receiver right. They got a little wing back there, probably a lead blocker for Bo. Comes in motion, left hand side, gets the snap, looks to his left. Gets chased out, rolls out. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Andrew Painter, arms out. Are you not entertained? I just brought down a six foot eight quarterback. Loss of about 15. Love it, AP. He's, he's been coming on, man. That's his second sack this year. And he did not give up, spun around there and just came through, lowered the boom. Okay, so third in the country mile, 303 and running. See if we can get the ball back. Trips right, motion man comes to the right, so rolls out to his right. They got high, medium, low, guy down the sideline all by himself. It drops it. Wow, wow. Thank you, thank you, Eli de Guzman. Beautiful the guy, coverage. the guy catches it and he comes and bumps him and knocks it right out of his hands. Oh, he was out there all by himself, busted coverage, had it, no problem, and ball's a little underthrown. Fortunately for us, had he led him and he ran under it, he would have been gone. So, man, we got lucky there. Brady Woodward is deep for Eastlake. You hear the stadium announcer saying that Grady's deep. That's uh, that's the 46-yard line that's deep right now. Red ball, delay game on the offense. Five-yard right. penalty to keep fourth down. And that'll back them up another five. Grady will come up closer to the 40-yard line. Okay, gets a snap. Oh, high and right. Gonna take a favorable wildcat bounce, but we'll have to set up shop at their 41. And we got 242, we got plenty of time. We can run just about any play we want. And we got a short field to deal with. We got a strong kicker. So at the very least, let's see if we can't walk out with a, a field goal, make this a two score game. While we get set up out there, we'll once again thank our sponsors, ProLiance Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. We appreciate your support of Wolves football. Okay, twins both sides. First and 10, like at the 41 yard line. It's a snap, pitches, oh, favorable bounce. Wow, that was ahead of Blake, and it bounced up right to him, and he was going to grab it and run out of bounds, but he gains about five yards. Very fortuitous bounce on that one. Yeah, maybe I don't yards. think that's the way it was drawn up. No. Okay, trips right. 
Grady far side. Marsh, Balage, Kai Brown gets a snap, looks to his right, quick curl, right to Kai Brown, lowers his head, and gains about 10. Good play. Okay. Grady and Marsh near side. Brown and Balage far side gets a snap. Looks down the middle. Oh, oh, almost picked. I like the thought, but they had him bracketed pretty good, so we we're fortunate to hold on to the ball there. Colby Minute. got his hands on it, but just couldn't bring it down. It came in a little too hot. Brings up second and ten for Eastlake. Gets a snap, fakes it. Quick screen to Grady, gets it, tries to break outside, comes back up the middle. Swing pass out Gains about eight, eight yards. It'll be third and short. Third and about a half a yard. This is Blake Borup country right here. Game nine brings up third and one for Eastlake. Twins both sides. Leg slides up to the left. Cole gets it. Looks to his right. Goes it back to Grady. A little high. Cuts up the middle. And brought down by a spinning jersey pull. So, but not until after a gain of about 10. The first and goal. I suspect the defense was thinking like you were that that was going to be going to, Gray, or to Blake there. Yeah. This will be first and 10. So we can get a first down at the one. But I'd just soon go ahead and put it in the end zone. All right, single receiver right, that's Grady. Twins left. Marsh, Balaj, Kai Brown, and timeout on the field? Timeout. Mount side. Oh, Mount side calls timeout. All right, folks, so we got a little barn burner happening. Wolves threatening to score. First and 10 at the 11, 58.7 seconds left. We'll be right back after this timeout. And during this timeout, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Kinson and Kinson Homes, longtime sponsors of Wolves football. Thank you so much for your support. And orthodontics on the plateau. Also a longtime sponsor. After Friday night's homecoming got smoked out. And finally. Special thanks to Infinity of Bellevue, new sponsor this year. We do appreciate your support of Wolves football. Okay. All right, Jim, we got four downs in uh, about a minute. Let's see what we can do. Get to snap. Fakes the handoff, blitz up the side, and gets twisted down. Oh, and then they jumped on him again, flag down, so that'll be roughing the quarterback. By Wall, brought down the backfield. So this will be half the distance to the goal. First down, uh, probably about the six yard line. They're gonna mark that one from the spot of the foul? Uh, no, it's a line of scrimmage penalty. Five yard face mask on the oh, defense. Face mask, five okay. yard penalty, still first down. Okay, all right, so still first down, five yard penalty. It's a gentle face mask. That's right. Let's get the show on the road. I want to get this hoot nanny at halftime started. Let's not get too anxious, though. Let's take those points first. 
Well, everybody's been pinned up all weekend. They yeah, want to play some football. The one yard penalty. It will be first and 11. Trips left, single receiver right. It's a snap. Hands off the Blake and he gets, oh, that's gotta be a penalty. Whistle blew and you still slam him down. Very unsportsmanlike, hate to see that. I know we're fired up to play some football, but that's just, that's poor form right there, gentlemen. I mean, at that point, your intent's to hurt somebody. And they took his hel helmet off on the way down. Yeah, that's, I don't like that. You can be frustrated, but we don't do that. Sorry, that wasn't Blake's helmet that came off. That was one of the players on the sideline. Sorry about that. As long as their head wasn't still in it. After the play was over, dead ball, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. On the defense, it'll be enforced half the distance because it was after the play, we second down. the ball to the seven yard line, it's second and six. Okay, we'll reset. Fortunately, Blake's okay. He's a big fella, he can handle that. It's 45 seconds left, second down. Get the snap, looks to his left, throws out to Blake, and spins, Blake touchdown. And there's a penalty flag. I That's don't know what's going likely on now. to be for his celebration. Blake did raise his hands in the air there. Yeah, I don't think that's a penalty, but maybe. Who knows? It'll still be a touchdown, but I don't know what the penalty is. The touchdown is good. After the play was over, dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct, number eight for taunting. That foul will be enforced on the kickoff. Yeah, we can't do that. I know we get excited, but contain those emotions. And I know that's one of those things they're trying to drive out of the game there, so. Okay. Dreyer in for the kick. Plummer with the hold. Excellent. Way to go. Good job, Dreyer. Good, good, good. good job, Steven. That makes the score. Looks like 17 on outside zero. 40.3 seconds remaining. Okay, 40 seconds left in the half. 17 nothing Wolves. And as we set up, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Evergreen Ford, for their support of East Lake Wolves football. Here they go, they're gonna tee it up on the 40, uh, sorry, the 25. Kickoff will be from the 
the 25-yard line. All right, so Ferreira's got it teed up. Daniel Ferreira set to kick. Phillips and Liam Christensen are deep. Gets it. Up the right hand side. Lets it bounce. Goes up the right hand side. Bo Phillips cuts through some behind some blockers. Gets up the right hand side. Got some forward momentum. And then Pack of Wolves bring him down. So 30 seconds left. Going to be first and 10 at about the. 42-yard line where the Wildcats will set up shop and they'll try to put some pressure on us, see if they can't drive down and get a score before halftime, maybe get some momentum. Wolves will receive the second half kickoff. So this would be a double win if we stop them and then we get the ball and drive down and score. That'll be, that'll be a good thing for us. Trips left, single receiver right. Calls the ball, looks to his left, comes back to his right, throws, look, look like a post, right into traffic. Balaj, Carollo, and Marsh are all there. And that dropped ball stops the clock. The Wildcats still have two timeouts remaining. Love seeing Balaj back there. Returns after a year-long absence. Second and ten from outside. Trips left, single receiver right. Gets the snap. Throws a quick out and short and low. Looks like a penalty flag on the play. I don't know if there's pass interference. The thing we got to look out for here is, you know, just like we use Blake coming out of the backfield and they use the receivers as decoys, they can do the same thing with Bo. And Bo is equally up for the task of running down the sideline and scoring a touchdown. And it looks like a second referee has tossed his flag out there to join the other. The first was getting lonely out there. During the pass, illegal use of hands on the defense. That 10-yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot. First down, mount side. The okay. clock will start on the snap. Okay, trips left. First and 10, Ball lines up to the left. There's a lot of field out there. Let's see if we can't spy him. Gets a snap. Looks to his left, feels the pressure, throws it out to the left-hand side, and out of bounds. Pass there was intended for number 11, Liam Christensen. We're down to 13 seconds. Left single receiver right. Gets a snap. Looks to his right. Throws it out quick out the bow. And wow. Shakes one tackle, but we got pursuit coming from behind. I don't know who that was. Looked like Big Daddy. And the clock stop at 3.6 seconds remaining in the half. I think that was Carter Thompson coming from the backfield. Like saw it and just Please like a missile the, came in. Clock for six him. seconds. And they've reset the clock to six seconds. Okay, trying to field goal. This will be a 40 yarder. Gets a snap. Doesn't look like it's got the distance. It is so, no good. Nope, so with that, folks, uh, the clock didn't start. <laughs> I don't know if we have to come up with one play or not. Uh, that was interesting. It looked like 
Game clock operator, please set the clock to one second. Okay, so one second, we have to come out and take a, a snap. We'll down it most likely and then get out of here with a 17 nothing lead. It'll be first and 10 for East Lake at the 20 yard line. Side backing up for the Hail Mary just in case, but we're going to kneel it. Okay. All done. All right. Great half, gentlemen. We flanked them, and we're going to get this, the ball at the start of the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, take some time. Enjoy these festivities. Enjoy the game. We'll be back with you after halftime.
Westlake Band, Cheer Squad, and Dance Team. Now let's recognize the homecoming hero winners. Unfortunately, a lot of them can't be here tonight. First is the North Star. Our nominees are Ta'Andi Agarwal, Chloe Kim, Brianne Diaz, and Beth Austin. And the North Star winner is Beth Austin. Let's hear for Beth. Second, our shooting star nominees are Olivia Snyder, Milan Shetty, Noah Zahn, and Matilda Futre. The shooting star winner is Noah Zahn. Next, we have our rising star. The nominees are Blue Chambeau Roberts, Aiden Ballman, Zoe Sweet, and Misha Singh. The rising star winner is, you already guessed it, Blue Shambow Roberts. Rooted in Kindness nominees are Sophia Roby, Dia Hare, Maddie Bishop, Jonah Park, Azara Teague, Adria Bielagatza, Julia Ong, and Kate Wessel. Your Rooted in Kindness winners are Sophia Roby, Maddie Bishop, Azara Teague, and Julia Ong. The Heart of the Woods nominees, Malvika Rao, Elizabeth Fine, Brendan Lloyd, Evan Daniel, Johnny Wynn, Holly Carroll, Michael Ma, and Ethan Gordon. And the Heart of the Woods winners are Malvika Rao, Brennan Floyd, Johnny Wynn, and Michael Ma. Our final category is Wolf Carroll. Our nominees are Riley Clark, India Bloom, Daniel Montano, Michael Franz, Kavin KC, Kia Wheelernet, Palak Mandelboy, and Kira Holman. And our winners are Riley Clark, Michael Franz, Kavin KC, and Palak Mandelboy. And is Todd Apple still in the house? Happy birthday, Principal Todd Apple.
still come to war. Detroit Sports last week, the soccer team went 2-0. They beat Bothell 3-1 and Issaquah 3-0. And in boys golf, the boys golf team is headed for state. They had a great week by winning the Kinko medalist tournament. 36 holes of golf. Team members include Kaylin Williams, Elliot Rowe, Chris Zamani, Johnny Fitzgibbon, Luke Schleck, Nathan Yoakum. Among others. And we're back. So I had my good luck hot dog, first you one of the year. Awesome. Smith. Yep, it's going to bite me later. It's all ball. right. One Lee thing I noticed at halftime, two young men that commented, Will Eaton and Chris Knudsen. Will's at um, Wazoo. I don't know where Chris ended up, but I hope you two are having the time of your lives, living your best life. I certainly hope you get all your homework done. I need you both to do well in school because this gig doesn't pay that much and I'm going to need to borrow some money one day. Kicks it deep end over end. Fielded at the five by Colby Marsh. Comes up the right-hand side. Cuts back to the middle. Dodges one tackle. Gets enveloped at about the 29. So it'll be first and 10 for the Wolves. Um, right about the 29-yard line. Tackle by Ryder Lights. Not a bad return to get this second half started. Good field position. 
see if we can capitalize on the momentum that we got at the end of the half. I see, I think that's the Guzman far side with Brady in the slot with Kai Brown and Colton's near side. Hands off to Bora up, up the left-hand side. Stutter steps, twist turns. Tough running for about four yards. Man, Blake. Way to go, kid. Way to kick us off here. Gain of about four. Picks up four, second and six. Trips left. Gets a snap. Hands off again. Blake bounces out to the right and then brought in, brought down by number 37, but not until a gain of about two. That'll bring up third and four. Gain of about two, it's third and four. brought down after a gain of about one. Jaden Wells made the tackle. So, fourth and about three. Brings up fourth and three for Eastlake. a pleasant gift. Merry Christmas. That'll be a first down. Dead ball. Encroachment on the defense. The five-yard penalty will result in a first down. Brady came flying down to get it. Wow, great grab. That one was placed there where nobody but Brady was going to get that ball. Absolutely. Good job, G. All right, twins both sides. Fakes the option and then gets hammered. Uh oh. And brought down by 37, Damian Wall. Two seconds too slow getting back up after that one. The referee had already blown his whistle. Yeah, hope he's okay. He's getting some water. He'll be all right. All right, so twins both sides. Melinda Renfro comes in to spell him. And then calls the signal. Blake comes up to his right. Gets a snap. Hands off. Blake up the middle. Excellent. Gain of about four, maybe five. We have to turn the play clock off. Should be third Since and three. We have to turn the play three. clock off. Edmonds comes in, so we have a two-back set. They're having to adjust the play clock, so we have to turn the play clock off because it's clock not working properly. Is no longer operational. Looks like. Pulls back at it, that's good. And checked him out on the sideline. Okay, two's left. 
safety back set. Edmonds comes in. Grady moves it right hand side. Gets snap. Hands off to Edmonds. Edmonds bounces it out to the left hand side. Tries to get it on the edge, and just tripped up. Good tackle. Lost about a yard before, then a long four. Let's see if they'll give us another first down here by jumping off sides. Slides over the far side to Guzman, Marsh, Brown on the right side. Everybody's checking their secret decoder bands. Blake steps up. Gets a snap. Looks to his right. Goes the middle. Low and just too low for Kai to pull in. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Wildcats stop our opening drive. 7.36 remaining in the third quarter. They'll be setting up shop first and 10 at about the 36 yard line. the left hand side Harry's got him not going anywhere way to go Harry held him up and then big Kai Lane comes in to polish it off along with Owen Coombs way to go boys so good to have Harry back out on the field it sure is he comes flying in like a missile and Harry does not miss leg day all right here we go same formation, except they move their wing back to the left side. Gets a snap. Hands off the bow, but comes up the left-hand side. Tries to get around to Crollo. Oh, and wow. He gets popped pretty hard, but not until he spins out of bounds after a gain of about five. So it'll be third and about eight. And once again, a very generous spot there. I love the pursuit, you know, when they, they might miss the first time, but the pursuit's right, right behind them. All right, trips right. Gets a snap, looks to his right, comes across the middle, not gonna happen. Jack Edmonds, two on two right there. Lieutenant for Dawson, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth and six. Okay, so fourth down, about six, long six. And it looks like they're going to punt. I would be prepared for the trickeration. Ryan Ruffin cross on the field from outside. Colby Marsh. Kick. Gets a snap. Almost blocked. High kick. Right to Colby. Gets it. Comes up the left hand side. Breaks through. Shakes off one and get down Colby. All right. Well, it's set up shop. First and ten at about the 42 yard line. 12 yard return for Colby on that one. Tackled me by C.J. Rose. Right, so we hold a good defensive stand there. And now let's see what we can do. First and 10, he's like at the 42. Twins both sides. Corp and Hunt in the backfield. Near side, it looks like we got Westmo and to Guzman. Far side, we got Grady and Marsh. Good snap. Hands off to Blake. Blake up the middle. Gets pounded, but not until a gain of about a yard. Stop for about a yard.
Frank Kissick led the swarm of tacklers. Two full sides. Gets a snap. Fakes the handoff out to Grady. Gets it. Stiff arm up the left hand side. He could go all the way. Touchdown. Touchdown, Grady Edwards. We're gonna go Wolves, but there's a flag down on the play. Another penalty flag. Second and four. We apologize for this technical difficulties. It looks like we've got your feedback right now. All right. Twins both sides. Gets the snap. Hands up. Fake pulls it. Goes inside and grabbed. Quick slant. with the grab. Holy Marsh with the reception. Tackled by Aiden Short. Good for another east side first down. It's first and ten. Okay, trips right, That's single receiver left. Oh, three five yards. We'll take that. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, taking a minute to figure this out. Oh, false start. A little movement caused him to jump. A lost cell phone from the Mount Sai side has been turned into the concession stand. A lost cell phone. Mount Trips side right. Has been turned into the concession stand. Looks like Grady out there by himself on the left hand side. Gets a snap, pulls it, goes a quick out to Grady. Good coverage and brought down after a gain of about five. 
So it'll be second and 10. 418 and rolling. Okay, twins both sides. Gets a snap, looks to his left, throws it over the middle, and picked off. Comes up the left hand side. And then brought down at about the 37 yard line. There's a flag on the play, so let's see which side that one's against. Yeah, and at what time it occurred. That was thrown just about the time that uh, the ball was thrown. Face mask. Defense, okay. <laughs> so that negates the interception and the return. Let's see where we get the ball. So that time the linebacker dropped back. They kind of baited that pass and he was able to jump up and make a good play. And now they're unsportsmanlike conduct against Mount Sai. <clears throat> the hits keep coming. That just might give us enough for a first down. Yeah, so. Westmo comes off, Edmonds comes in, go to a two back set. Marsh to Guzman near side, Grady far side. And they place the ball at the four yard line, where I suspect it will be first and goal. About the ball at the four yard line, it will be first and goal easily. See if we can't get the chain crew to catch up with that. Okay, so here we go. First and goal from the four yard line. Gets a snap. Hands off the Borup, shakes one tackle, gets out the left-hand side. Uh, yeah, you're not going to stop him. I was waiting for one of those corners to come up and try to square Blake up. My money would be on Blake all day. But there's a flag on the play. Oh, man. Location of that one, I'm putting my money on holding. Yeah, holding. And That's a shame. Up to about the 16. That's a shame because he had the corner. He was already there. <laughs> Holding on East Lake. the ball at the 16 yard line. First in goal from the 16. Now once again, we're moving the wrong direction once we get inside the five. All right, I see big Blake Sleen out there. Jack Porter. Gets a snap, looks to his right. Oh, wow, we got lucky there. Swing pass, falls incomplete. And for Bora, 37, Amy and Wall on the defense. That was close. All right, second and goal from the 16. Second and goal from the 16. Twins both sides. Westmo's back in with Grady over here, near side. 
to Guzman and Marsh left side. <clears throat> okay, they're playing up. One safety. Let's see if they drop back. Oh, Grady's. Oh, throws it low to Borup. It goes down and gets it. Gains about five yards. <clears throat> Third and goal at the 11. So trips left. Grady near side. Oh, I like what I'm seeing right here. Gets it. Looks out to his left to Borup. Borup gets it. Squares his shoulders. Dives in the end zone. Touchdown! And this time I don't see any yellow on the field. So, way to go to the check down there. Get Blake in the flat. He's hard to bring down when he's in the middle of the field, much less when you're out there one-on-one -on -one trying to stop him from getting in the end zone. Alex Gray ready to attempt the extra point. Stephen Plummer will hold. Snaps good, holds good. The boot is good. So with 2.41 remaining in the third quarter, Wolves are up 24-0. Jim, I like what we've done. We've come out tonight, maintained a great level of intensity. The crowd has been excited, getting behind the guys, and uh, they've really performed well tonight, all things considered. Yeah, we've had a couple of unfortunate turnovers and penalties, but uh, the boys have been able to recover from those. Let's take a look at that touchdown. Yeah, I thought, so Borup comes out, there's nobody really shading him. Linebacker gets there a little too late and then tries to wrap him with the ankles, but Blake's just too strong. And I thought what I saw, their safety was had slid in inside the hash, leaving Grady one-on-one. -on -one. I thought Grady was running just a fade route to the, uh, the corner of the end zone, and they just lob it up to the big fella, but he curled. So Cole like looked, froze, and then came back to his check down in Blake, and he was wide open and threw a really good pass, and we end up scoring. Okay. Ferreira's got it teed up at the 40. Nice deep end over end kick. Fielded at about the 10. Christensen takes it, tries to get out to the right hand side. Bo Phillips blocking the way and wrapped up right away. Trying to see who that was. Oh, that's Westmo. Way to go, Luke. He's had a game tonight, man. He's had a couple catches, almost scored a touchdown. That catch over the middle uh, in the last drive, he lowered his shoulder, took a tough hit, held onto the ball, and uh, faced a, you know, a spearing penalty. And love what I'm seeing out of the young man. Picked a good night to perform, Westmo. All right, trips left, calls to the ball. Drops back to pass, looks, throws out in the flat, and dropped. Uh-oh. Looks like Carollo took a pop. I think he ran into a, the guy there. Passing center for C.J. Rowe is called incomplete. There's a timeout on the field. Okay, he gets up. Hobbling a little, so hopefully he's okay. And it looks like Caleb Moorhart has come in to take his place. Mm 
and Carrillo comes off the field in his own speed. Okay. Second and ten outside. Gets a snap, hands off. Tries to come up the right-hand side. Twists and turns, brought down pretty quickly. Okay. <clears throat> Trips left. Gets a snap. Looks to his left. Ooh, throws a slant. Guy's open and then brought down by Kai Brown. <clears throat> but not until after a gain of about 20 yards. That was number 81 for the Wildcats. That's Logan Anderson on that reception. Wildcats threatening to cross midfield here. Trips right, empty backfield. Gets a snap, looks to his right. They fake a screen, come back to his left. He's kind of paused now. He's being flushed out and he's having to run and then brought down, but a penalty marker down in the vicinity of holding. That could be holding or an illegal man downfield, although he didn't throw the ball. Carter Thompson made the stop. We'll see what the penalty flag is. Yeah, it's going to be holding. Holding Mount Sy. That'll back him up. It'll be still first down, but about 22 to go. Trips right. First and 21 for Mount Sy at the 34. Gets a snap, throws deep over the middle, and knocked out. Great defense, Colby. For Anderson, Colby Marsh with a defensive play. Logan tried to use his body to shield, and Colby reached his paw up there and knocked it out. Bunch formation. Trips right. Gets a snap. Looks like a screen, center screen. Oh, flies in there, not going to go very far. Gain of about four. This will be third and really long. Too many hashes for me to count. <clears throat> I'm going to call that about 18 on that one. Third and 18. I got an affirmation from the in-stadium announcer, so I'm feeling good about myself. Yeah, I was taking my shoes off so I could count that high. All right, trips right, single receiver left. Gets a snap, looks to his left, throws that out pattern. Colby meets him, pushes him out of bounds. Gain of about 14. So it'll be a uh, big fourth down here, fourth and about five. <clears throat> that one once again to number 81, Logan Anderson for the Wildcats. They're spotting that right at midfield. It looks like they're gonna let the clock wind down and take this into the fourth quarter. So, folks, at the end of three, Wolves 24, Wildcats 0. We'll be back in just a few minutes after this quick timeout.
And we're back. So fourth and five trips right. Fourth and five at midfield. Blitz coming, gets a snap, tries to go over, and good catch brought down by Dan Shazy, but not till a gain of seven, so it'll be first down at about the 43. You're in the hurry up. Trying to get some momentum, gets a snap. Goes out to the left. Ducks, dives, and dodges, and finally brought down by number one, Colby Marsh. Colby Marsh made the stop. About seven, it'll be second and three. Trips right. It's a snap. Oh, bad snap. Bounces right to him. Oh, and batted down. 56. Big Daddy. Carter Thompson gets that paw up, knocks it out of the air. Good job. So, you know, Mount Sai fighting and clawing. A lot like Steve Perry, they don't stop believing. Brings up third and three from Mount Sai. Trips right, single back, calls to the ball, hands off, and just enveloped. Carter Thompson again just smokes him. Bo Phillips is their guy, and we have been on him all night long. Loss of two, fourth down again. Great defensive play right there. Let's see if we've got time to take a quick look at that. Here he comes in, boom. Yes, lays the wood. All right, twins both sides. Gets a snap, looks to his left, throws a quick out, and then wrapped up right away, but not until after a gain of a first down. And a penalty, so what did we do? We can't be doing that, boys. Christensen made the catch. And that was number 11, Liam Christensen, on that reception for a first down. And let's see what the extra yardage is going to be here. More. All, All right. right, folks. I think we got the stream back. Sorry about that. Bore up up in the middle. Oh! Loses the ball for a second. I think he catches it. And it'll be first down. There's a penalty flag. Penalty marker down. In the vicinity of holding. I'm assuming this will come back. And well, the stream was down. The Wildcats threatened to score. Yeah. But, uh, but we managed to pull off an interception uh, deep down in our end of the field, and now the Wolves are on the move back almost to midfield. Thanks for sticking with us. Oh, personal foul. I don't know. Oh, he's been ejected. Personal foul, blow to the head. to see who that was on. Okay, so that's a personal foul, blow to the head. 15 yards down, he moves the ball down to the outside 37. Timeout on the field, called by outside. All right, so that puts us all the way down to 37. 
It'll be first and goal. I'm sorry, first and goal. First and 10 after this brief timeout. Upcoming events in East Lake Sports Volleyball. JV plays Roosevelt at Roosevelt tomorrow at 5 30. In girls' soccer, JV tomorrow night at Redmond, 5 15 for the JV and 7 30 for the varsity. Low pitch softball. The home game for East Lake starts at 4 p.m. Those are all tomorrow, Tuesday, the 18th. And we're back. Twins both sides. First and 10 East Lake. The 37-yard line. Gets a snap, hands it off, bore up up the middle, pauses for a second, and then lowers his shoulder and just pushes through that line, gain of about five, five and a half yards. I don't know how he does that. Week in and week out, he is a workhorse. A lot of guys there to greet him. They wanted him down at the line of scrimmage, and uh, somehow he pushes it forward for about five yards. Twins both sides. <clears throat> oh, somebody was. <laughs> That was the one time he was going to get the ball, ladies and gentlemen. So he flew off the line, hoping to get it. Westmo. <laughs> that was my chance. I was supposed to run a streak. I was going to beat him. All right, so that takes away the uh, five yards that uh, Borup had just picked up for us. It's a snap, hands it off. Caught in the backfield. Lowers and spins and keeps his legs moving. Gains about four, four and a half yards back. <laughs> Made lemonade from lemons there, my friend. Yeah, once again, met in the backfield and somehow managed to pull four yards out of that. Six for Four and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Oh, the fourth quarter, sorry. <laughs> Twins both sides. Gets a snap, hands it off, pulls it. Gets it out to Grady. Grady cuts up the middle, first down. Both sides pulls it and then oh fumbles gets thrown down able to recover that ball just bounced right back into his arms as he was laying mm -hmm. on the ground got very lucky there Start 
All right, Edmonds on, Kai Brown off. Gets a snap, hands off the board around the left hand side. Edmonds leads a good block. Borp throws his shoulder into it. Gain of about six. It'll be third down. So got half of it back. Checking their secret decoder wristbands. Trips right. Gets a snap. Looks to his right. Throws it a little right through the hands. Oh! Bounces off of a defender. So it goes through the hands of Kai Brown. Bounces off the defender who then looks behind him and grabs it for the first down. What a play. Just like we drew it up. Mm -hmm. Through the hands, off the defender. Let's see if we caught this for you. Right through the hands, off the defender, bounces up, and then Kai's right there to take it. So never give up. You never know what can happen. It's first and goal at the 10. And I hear Coach saying that's just the way we drew it up. Trips right. Hands it off up the right hand side. Borp blows his shoulder and take it down at about the one. Let's take a look at that run. I don't think they're going to run a quick play there. So let's take a look at this uh, drive almost to the end zone. Good hole there. He just fights his way through almost into the end zone. Okay, so 50 seconds left. Looks like we're going to down it. Congratulations to Mount Sai. You guys played a tough game. Wish you the best the remainder of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us tonight. Please stay tuned for uh, later on this week. I think Wednesday we've got the freshman game. That's correct. And then Saturday night at Pop Keeney we host, or we, I'm sorry, we face um, the Bothell Cougs, the Blue Train. So we look forward to seeing you next Saturday night. Thanks for joining us on a special Monday night edition. And we uh, have a great week. Thank you.